We end the week with the story of two little girls. They are just four years old, but grown-ups could learn a lot from them. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. Red. Miami preschoolers Gia Sarnicola and Zuri Copeland say they're not best friends. I know. They say they're closer than that. Closer than mere sisters even. Hold on, I'm going to wash the paintbrush. In fact, Gia and Zuri truly believe they're twins. Oh, yeah. Ashley and Valencia are their moms. They will tell you that they are twins, and they have a long list of reasons why to back it up. <laughs> to them, what makes a twin? Uh, similarities. Similarities. Look, come, come here. For example, the girls say they're both four, their birthdays are practically the same day, and of course the obvious physical similarities. So what am I looking at here? The same height. Oh, because you're the same height. Clearly twins. Which is why they also insist on matching outfits whenever possible. So far, Ashley and Valencia have indulged them. But they also recognize there is some bitter to this suite. You know, you're happy for, you know, for a few seconds and then you become sad because they have to grow up mm. and then society takes over. Indeed, society has already tried to take over. Last month, Zuri and Gia were at a birthday party when an older kid told them they couldn't be twins because they don't have the same skin color. Gia broke down, but through her tears, she got out this rebuttal. She said, you don't know what you're talking about. We're twins because we share the same soul. Uh, I just get chill bumps. Um. Soul? I was just like thrown by just that word. Yeah. Obviously, what Gia was trying to say is that at our core, we are one. And as we look back on this year, with all its division and racial strife, it's important to remember that while all this was going on, so was this. We have a lot to learn, right. and, and we can learn from children. In fact, the moms say they already have. For sure. Yeah. We've never talked so much on the phone. Yeah. And that's what the twins want for all of us, to push back against the cynics. Some girls said, said we're, we're not twins. twins, and we are our twins. And to stop it with this discrimination business once and for all. And it makes her sad. That way, they say, we can move on to the more important things in life. You know what we're going to get today? What? We're going to get ice cream! Steve Hartman. And you don't. Oh. On the road, <laughs> without ice cream, in Miami. I get that is the CBS Evening News tonight. I'm Jeff Glor in New York. Thank you for watching this week. Good night. <laughs>